is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody. Hey, I'm glad you're back. We'll wrap this up before this is part B of session two that we had on 22nd of March. The summary I'm giving you is this because it's really covered in the end of, toward the end of the video. So just check it out. I guarantee you'll like to the end. But the bottom line, we're trying to say this. Church, don't let people think that you can be the go-between God and man. Because what man is doing since the beginning, after his sin, they hid from the presence of God. And they hid because they said they were naked and afraid. And I'm thinking that that's when people do things in the back, in the booth, in the corner, in the dark. It's because they think they're hiding from God. And, and John is saying, man loves darkness more than light because their deeds are evil. So they think by doing things in the back and forth in the dark, they hide from the presence of God. And if they can keep the church, and that's what I want y'all to remember, if we keep the church in the four walls, instead of the church going out and preach the gospel wherever these people are, they can hide. Hey, they say, I'm going to the club because church ain't going to be there. No church people can't be there. I mean, they don't want to be there themselves. They, they don't want to be there. They can't be there. Hey, they can't sit there and socialize with me. They can't sit there and drink and, and beer or anything else because, you know, they, they're supposed to stay in the box. As long as they're in the box, then I can still do my stuff in the back in the booth in the corner of the dog because God ain't there. God is in the box. The reality, God is not in the box. And the church is not in the box. Huh? The church is out in the world. The Bible said go preach the gospel throughout the world. So, just go ahead and, and enjoy your life. Let people understand that you don't have to go in and do the harm to other people. Try to get over on people. You don't need to go out there and get drunk and run over people and kill somebody. Tell them, show them how you can live your life and still stay with a balance. Amen? But the bottom line is this. Moses, the children of Israel said in Exodus, Moses, you talk to God, and we'll hear you. Time Moses disappeared, they said, I don't know what happened to him. Go give, in my fact, let's build him some idols. See, that's what man does when we try to put something in between them and God. Get out of the way. Preach the gospel. Let the Holy Spirit have his way. Amen. So that's what I'm trying to talk about. Check this video out at the end. I guarantee you like it. All right. I'm too excited. I just want to let you just get to the video right away. Amen. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. One day. A day. <laughs> no, just do it for one day. Do, do all <laughs> four two. Hey, because I know. One day. Let me tell you something, Pastor. This is my testimony. <laughs> at one point, I was in Okinawa. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> And I am not going to sin today. Okay, you said that. You said I'm that. Do, I'm not going to sin. Woo. Okay. I am going to get through this day uh -huh. without committing a sin. That okay. includes driving the speed limit, you know, not saying anything out of order and all Woo. this. I'm still trying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't crying. I, I gave up. I just say that. Yeah. Um, with my, with uh, my, it, it was always something. And right. It didn't take long. No. It didn't take long. It was, I, was, I was out of order. Some way, somehow, <laughs> something was, was would come up and dude, I, I would just, I would see it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and and the crazy thing is, the devil gonna let you know who right off the bat. Oh, the accuser then, of the brother. Because look, if you can do that, then if you can do it one day, then you can do it more than you know. You can do it over and over and over again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he made sure I knew. <laughs> he made sure I knew that. 
every single day. And I will say, he is the accuser of the brother. Of the brother. And let me tell you, he 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 was right there every, he don't play. every single day. Yeah, he don't play. Because he wants you to be in condemnation. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. It works. If, if that's the life you're trying to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's why we're saying, so that, that's why we're using those scriptures today. So we did the John, and we also did where Jesus lived. Levi, he went to Levi's house, and 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 uh, he was eating meat with Levi, the publicans and the sinners, and 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 the scribes and the Pharisees asked the disciples, "Why is your master eating with these publicans and sinners?" And Jesus heard it. <laughs> Uh, that was an opportunity. Hey, look, that was, but you just said, oh, that was an opportunity. Yeah. To share the gospel. And he said, and you remember the scripture said, he said, he does a physician don't need, he, he don't need a, he, he, if, if you hold, you don't need a physician. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he that, that that sick needs a physician. Yep. He said, I didn't call, I didn't come here to call the righteous to, to repentance. I, I came to call the unrighteous. Mm -hmm. I've been called those who you got a problem with me sitting with. I can't I can't reach them if I can't sit with them. Amen. Woo! Amen. And so therefore, when somebody knocks you for trying to uh preach the gospel with your beer or your wine or your strips or that great gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! That's anointed. That's anointed. But but the subject said, "Look, brother, I, I um, if you're not, I'm, I just came to call the unrighteous. I just came with Jesus. I'm coming to do what Jesus did. Are you with me? Amen. I, I, does that make sense? Where I'm coming from. Yes. So, so if they if they're in the church, if they're in the club, and they're asking you why are you here. You can say, well, I'm just doing what Jesus did, man. I, I want a fellowship with you. As a matter of fact, <laughs> if they ask you, why, why, why are you here? Because you here. <laughs> you here. I am here cause because of you. Hey, look, hey, look you'll be cool about it, too. I'm here because I want a fellowship with you, brother. I, I want a fellowship with you. I'm here because I want a fellowship with you. I, I, and and now, now, what does that fellowship entail? Well, you know, it may, it may, it may be a little weaving in of the gospel. Everybody do that, but yep. one of the things that you know is that the gospel is not putting you in a box. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Now, I would, I would uh, be able to tell him, say, man, I tell you something, man, I, 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 I agree with the 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 uh, the eye candy and all the stuff you you see out there. But God made a great that He made that beauty out there. He made it. Yeah. The problem is I can't and you can't afford to to give yourself to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I have found out from experience that you really can't give yourself to two of them if, if yeah. you're gonna be committed. Yeah, you can't you can't be committed. Awesome. There ain't no commitment. <laughs> It ain't gonna be no commitment because you're not gonna love them equally. Now, now look, as a matter of fact, Solomon tried to prove that point to you. Uh huh. Remember Solomon Solomon said, Let me let me uh let me marry all these females and I'm gonna love all of them equally. Uh -huh. So they say he loved them, right? You know, you see where that got him. <laughs> oh boy, Lord, oh boy, caused the whole kingdom to fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you I could I give you all that wisdom. But yep. you, you let you love them so much you let them bring their religion in. Yeah, that's it. That's and then it. when you did that, that's where the problem came in at. Because instead of you look, look, instead of you being influenced to them, 
Yeah. You let them be influenced to you. Amen. Amen. So, so the bottom line, I'm not the church should be trying to keep you from going to the club. The church should be just focused on look, bro. Oh, that's what happened. That thing ain't plugged up. I was wondering why this camera ain't working. I was, I've been busy sitting there while I'm talking to you. I'm saying, why this camera ain't working? <laughs> it's not plugged up. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, yeah you spent money. You spent money on this, man. But anyway, so 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 we want to make sure people understand that the whole purpose of the gospel, the ministry gifts, is to equip the saints to do what? The work of the ministry. The ministry. Where's the work? The work is in the club. The yeah. work. <laughs> the it's work. in the world. And what, and what's in, in the, the world? world? It's in the world. It ain't. Come on, ain't brother. Four walls. Yeah. And then, you know what? Like, and then, and then you go, you, you, you actually go to them four walls, and they tell you, okay, well, bring them here so they can be saved. What? What? I what? got. You know. Look, what? they got to go all that time. What if it's what if it's Monday? They gotta go six days. What if they yeah. die in them six days? No, no. <laughs> they actually make it to the church. Aren't you supposed to help me so that I can I can minister salvation to them while I'm out there? Ain't that what it's all about? Right and then, then, you, then I bring them in here so you can perfect them to go do the same. Come on, ain't that something? It's 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 crazy. Yeah, crazy. but so, so all that that is what? Huh? Oh, go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Okay. I said so. That's what was the focus was on today, is to sit there and 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 try to uh, keep people from putting the seven too much restraints, and understand you 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 that both groups try to come against you. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. And I like you. You start off right off the bat saying, "Oh, they just open the door for opportunity to witness." That's it. Look, don't do not bring up my father or my brother. In front of me. Yeah. In front of me. <laughs> Come on now. Hey, look, look. You can say, look, I thought I was in here. I'll 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 listen to the music. I was talking to you about the music. I'm out of my own business. <laughs> I, I was fellowshipping with you. Now eventually I wasn't gonna weave something in there anyway, but you don't open the door. You you open the whole door. I was looking for a crack. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's God opening that, that door anyway. So I'm like, you know what? I said, I'm going I'm to I'm show you the reason who who's actually here because Come on. I'm just along for the ride. But now on, the person who came here for you, let me introduce Woo! you. I'm going to step back and introduce you to my brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, and then, and then if you have the church people try to talk about you, you can do what Jesus said. Uh, I, I, I just, Jesus said that he came to call the unrighteous. Yeah. And, 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 and he, went, he went to the party to do that. Yeah. So if you, unless you got a problem with me doing what Jesus did, you need to just keep me in prayer. Well, I'm going out. I'm going out into the lion's den. Why? Why huh? can't? Why, why can't you support me? Why can't you have my back? Come you know, on. instead of trying I to put me out, I'm out here trying to, to trying to do our father's bidding. Come on, brother. You're trying to tell me not to. Who am I supposed to listen to? God? Woo. Or me? Come on. Who, look, so you trying to say you? I should listen to you and not my father. <laughs> I should listen to you and not Jesus Christ. I should listen to you and not not the Holy Spirit. But well, I mean, come on, explain something to me. <laughs> who who are my, you telling me to, to listen to? To 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 the man in that in that pulpit? <laughs> oh, oh, brother! Oh, God! No, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, matter of fact, matter of fact, I, I I think what they try to do, man, is uh. They decided to be God. That's it. As opposed to, to God being God. And therefore, now they being the gatekeeper for God. You know that? 
and I and I, I would add, give you a good example, and I and I'm I'm gonna let you go on this. I'm gonna give you a good example. Yeah, there was also in my heart today, but God changed me to do this. Knowing Him, the title of the subject we had today was "Knowing Him Means Being Justified." You know, we justified by Christ. But the other one was He had a, I had on my heart to do was it was dealing with this this thing about knowing Him meaning he's your judge or your king uh -huh. and, and and the reason why it's important for him to be the king or the judge is when we allow ourselves to be the judge or others we jack it all up and it is also another means of hiding from god and the one i was using was you remember exodus chapter 20. no Tick, tick, tick. Since you, so, so you open the door to come in and do this test, let's go to Exodus chapter 20 for me. All right. And, and, and in Exodus chapter 20, this is where God actually was talking, came down on Mount Sinai and talked to the children of Israel, brother. He came personally to talk to the children of Israel. All right. And, it, you know, that's from 1 to 10, he gave them, he spoke. It ain't, yeah. you know, we, we joke about the fact is that Moses came down with the tablets and, 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 and gave them the commandment. Uh, uh, if you read that particular chapter, uh -huh. God himself. Yeah. It says that God spoke all these words, saying. Are you with me? God yeah. spoke these words, brother. All right? So it wasn't like someone went to the mountain and, 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 and sketched them and said, look, this is what God said. Uh-uh. God talked to that whole group of people. But what I wanted to throw at you, though, is in verse uh, 18 through 21. Okay. Now, this would have said, now, all the people, all of them, saw the thundering and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, look, they backed off. Yeah, they and stood they, afar. They, 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 were, they were close at first, but they, they said, hey, whoa, what? wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is too deep, right? Too so much. They said, Moses, come on, come back. Let, let Moses talk to us. <laughs> The people said to Moses, it was now. No, they said to Moses, speak thou with us. You speak, you speak to us, right? Yeah. But not let God speak with us, lest we do what? Lest we die. We lest we die. Lest we die. And, 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 and I'm gonna I'm gonna shift and I'll come right back to it because I don't need to turn to it. But in Genesis chapter three. The devil said, surely you will not die. Yeah. Right? Now, he did say, just like these two, just like these jokers right here, mm -hmm. God said, he told Adam at least. I don't know if he told Eve. Sound like Adam told him, or Eve put a little sugar on it, because Eve said, if you touch it, you're going to die. Yeah. That's not what and God said. You're, eating, you're gonna die, but if you touch it, you're gonna die, right? Yeah. And, and the devil took that brother Adam and said, "Surely, you will not die." Now, they heard that, right? They heard what God said. Adam least did. Eve heard what Adam told what not to do. We know yeah. that at least. Yeah. So they got hung up on saying, "Wow, if I eat this fruit." If I eat this fruit, I will be wise. Yeah. Did you and catch I'll, the point? Just like, you, go ahead, say it. What? Just like I'll what? Just like God. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That now we're talking. I want to yeah. I'm keen on that fact that they told them that they'll be like gods. Could they put a G, small G on it? Yeah. And 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 
they looked at that and said, oh, that's not a bad idea to be gods. Now, and but they also heard the fact is that you should surely die. But he, mm -hmm. when he said you surely won't die, right? Yeah. But, but, but when God showed up in the cool of the day, what'd they do? They backed off and he. Now, now they had the knowledge of the good and evil, didn't they? They had the knowledge, right? Yeah. So they know, see, like they would have had the knowledge of what to do. They had the knowledge to do what? Hide. Right? Yeah. Because they were what? What did Adam say? They, why did he hear? Why did he hear? Because they were afraid. Oh, now they were afraid. Now, what this group was saying, he backed off because they were right. in Mexico. They, they were what afraid. They back, the back people off saw it. They, uh, they, and, and they, unless we die too, didn't they? Interesting, right? My my point is the man has been running from God <laughs> <laughs> for ever since Adam and Eve. Yeah, since since Adam ate that fruit. Yes, since, sir. Look, since the zombie apocalypse. Exactly. Because <laughs> they know all they know is. Cause they heard it's like it's like embedded in man. Man, I don't I don't want to really get to know God because then he'll get to know me. And once he get to know me, I'ma die. I'ma surely die. Yeah. Because of my sins. Because <laughs> of that okay? sin. Not, not, not just the sin that I have, but that uh -huh. first original that sin. Sin. It's, it's, it's one embedded. sin separated us from God. Yes, sir. And one death brought us back. And then the thing I'm getting out is that most people want to, they figure that if I could, because you remember they ran from the presence of God. Yeah. And I'm saying is that when people leave the church and they go to these different places, they think they're hiding from God. Yeah. That's why he said when you read John, I'm just piecing all this together. When they said John in the sentence that men love darkness more than light because they figure they are hiding in the darkness. Yeah. Because they don't want to come to God, but they think they come to God, Brother Addison. They think they come to God to die. Yeah. Now, you know, you're right. You might, maybe they're right about that. But they, they're thinking the wrong type of death. Remember, he said, Mom or not, you must be born again. Born again. In other words, yeah, die to self. You heard that about die to the, A self. seed cannot Woo! grow unless it's planted in the Woo! ground. Wow! <laughs> Did you catch that? It has to die. Yes. So it can grow. There's a transition. You know, I was, I was also reading after they, they told Moses to go speak to God. And it says, Moses told the people, he said, fear not, for God has come to prove you. Woo! Woo! And what that happened his to John? It may be before your face that you sin not. Yes. That fear is there so that you don't sin. Yes. And it said, and he says, and, and because Moses was far off with the people speaking to the, to the people. Then right. it says, Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. That, 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 that blesses me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 went, go ahead. And he went toward. Yes. But they was they were going away from the, the, they're going away from it. And and they always kind of remind me back so, in the garden again so, that God so, came to them so, and they hear from the presence of God. Well Moses was coming to the presence yes. of God, right? Yes. Now I, I wanna yes. I'm gonna leave you with this point though. There's a point I was trying to make out of it. You ready? <laughs> 
There's a real point because we pieced some pieces together already, right? There's some pieces already together. And 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 it kind of ties in why the people sit there and want to be God, opposed to God. Go to Exodus 32. Okay. Now it is interesting just in verse one. Uh-huh. Well, go, go ahead. Now, let me, let, you know what happened now? Now, keep in mind what just happened. They said, Moses, you go talk to God, and then yeah. you tell us what God wants us to do. Yeah. Why I want you to do that, Moses? Why do you think I want you to do that, Moses? Because now, we brother, Moses, you die, and we die. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and it's funny, though, brother, that in verse 1, when the people saw that Moses delayed to yeah. come down, they gathered themselves. They gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, "Get out!" Cause that doesn't you said they made a big you right? That, yeah. That's kind of as a tone. Get out and make us what? Us. Now what? What the devil say you be? And it, to have any, he said, "You be like little G God." Uh huh. And what these people wanted Moses to do what? I mean, Aaron, ain't that something? You wanted little G God. Crazy. The, the other word, and, look, and brother Allison, I don't know if you caught this, but Moses, you remember you read Moses went to the thick cloud, darkness, right? Yeah. He he went to God, right? If you read between 20 and 32, there was never anything that said that mountain, that thick cloud, that thundering and lightning went away. Yeah. So when they said Moses delays, you don't think they could still see that mountain? You know, they were, they were further oh, away. Yeah. Than but, but not, nothing changed when it, as far as that mountain. Ain't nothing changed. But what changed was that now that you allow me to put a separation between you and and us by putting Moses, putting man, are you with me? Man yeah. in, the, in the, as a mediator opposed to Jesus, who is the mediator, right? All I have to do now is go mm -hmm. and act like a fool because you can't be where I want. You can't be wherever I am. You can't uh -huh. be in my friend. I can't. I don't have to worry about you seeing me in the back, in the booth, in the corner, in the dark. I can hide from you. Yeah. I just want you to understand the difference. I can hide from the church. Yeah. Because the church, matter of fact, I don't got to sit. I got a point where I got the church in a box. So they stay in the box. They stay in the four walls. So now I know I can hide from them. They're not coming to the club. And, they ain't coming to the barbecue. They tell you everywhere that they, they, they go. All I do everywhere that they go, and you away from them. <laughs> yes. So it's, in other words, I can effectively hide by putting something in between me and God. Yeah. And that's now what they, that's what they think because when Adam and Eve hid themselves, when he said, where are you? You don't think he couldn't see him? <laughs> yeah. It, was, it wasn't Adam, where are you? Adam, do you know where you are? You hid yourself. Matter of fact, if you think about it, when Adam sat there and told God, he said, "He said, what? What's going on? I, I, I hid myself because we were naked." Now, if you, if you, if you remember, we talked before, and you don't have to remember this, but what did God say when they said they were naked? Do you remember what He said? He was like, oh, yeah, who told you that? <laughs> That's what he who said. Told, yeah, he said, who told, who told you. Who told No, my brother asked, wait a minute now. Is that something? 
Yeah, we're talking about all knowing God, right? Right? Yeah. Why did you see him say when he talked to him, you naked boy? No. He no. said, but Adam, he said, who who told you? Yeah. That you were naked. What that's trying to tell you? What you get from that? When they ask you a question like that? That's trying to figure out, did you know who you was talking to? <laughs> well, well, here's another thing. You became the judge opposed to God. Uh-huh. You determine, you condemn yourself. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And God is trying to say is, that's your problem. Instead of letting me be your God, let me be your judge. You become the judge. You become the condemner. And then the church, that the church trying to be God, what the church end up doing? Condemn. Condemning. Opposed to the Savior, he said, I am the way and the truth yeah. and the life. No man comes. No man comes to the Father but by me. Your righteousness is in me. Not in people, not in rules, not in method. Are you trying to know where I'm coming from? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to leave that. I just want to leave that with you because that's what God was telling me. What I wanted to, to put out was well, the fact is that we, 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 Got to allow it. We got to point everybody to the, to the Lord because the Lord is trying to get you into heaven. Yeah. While we, when we try to be God, small G's, we're more, we're more busy throwing everybody in the hell. We're more busy throwing ourselves in the hell. Yeah, we're, we're busy, the Lord is we're busy, busy to hide. disqualifying folks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we hide. See what I'm saying? And now that's why a preacher can sit there and let's say use a Catholic priest. He can go ahead and molest that child because he ain't he if he knew God was there. Yeah. Would he molest that child? But he knows that Pope is not there. Yeah. Sister So and so is not there. I'm hiding effectively from them. I can do what I want to do. Yeah. But if I can get them, God is trying to say, go to Jesus and understand Jesus. When that scripture say, I'll never leave you, know what? Thank you. Come on, brother. So so I want to leave that with you because maybe that's a message you can give to somebody. But I was tying it all down is that, brother, stop being God yourself. If you go into yeah. somebody in the club, if you go to somebody want to, part of that witness is, you can't do it on your own, brother. Yeah. But at the same time, he's not putting you down because you're sitting there drinking your beer, you're drinking your wine, you're drinking your Kool-Aid, whatever you're doing. That ain't what God is looking at. God is not looking at where you party in the club or you party in the church. God is just looking at your heart. Yeah. And he wants your deeds to come. That's what John was talking about. He wants you, your deeds to come out to him so you can be in the light because you're in the light you ain't hot you can't hide from the light bro no so he said come to the light so you can be wroth that's my point i'm trying to say the raw thing is god not man yeah amen that's your amen. witness that's the witness for today so hey i hope you have a good week and enjoy Amen. yourself. Amen.